Here yeah. we go. You're good. Oh, you're such a tease, all of you. All right. Well, let's give this a shot, shall we? Celebrating 10 years of award-winning car talk, it's the In Wheel Time Car Show. Just ahead, we talk with the regional OnStar manager, Mr. Bradley Nelson. The app is has the sensors, accelerometer, and so forth in the in the phone, so it detects when you are in a moving vehicle. I think at about five miles per hour, it'll detect that you're in a moving vehicle, and uh, when that when that when those sensors are alerted that there's something you know i guess jarred would be an easy word to say but when that when that when those sensors say i was gonna say in this case big brother's watching over you not necessarily watching you right, so that's right. you know they're they're there trying to oversee what's going on in the vehicle and if something's happening bad then they can dispatch help so you. brad how much does this uh, app cost so it's it's actually fifteen dollars a month, fourteen ninety nine a month, um, and again, so you can share that with up seven more family members. Oh so wow! More friends for yeah, the fifteen dollars a month. Members are friends. Wow! That's so up, for so. for an entire family for fifteen dollars a month, I can make sure that I know where my kid is and my kid is okay and they haven't gotten in a wreck somewhere. Yeah, and and if your if your kid his battery doesn't start that morning. He actually just, he has the app too. You've shared it with him. He's not paying for it. You're paying the $15 a month, but he goes ahead and now we will come out. You're going someplace yeah. and doing something dad doesn't want you to know about. Exactly. So that's what I'm saying. I mean, you don't, you don't want that. No, don't turn it off. You turn it off. I'm coming to find you. Well, so the, the, another question, Brad, is um, the OnStar packages of the past. There was kind of a tiered package from safety and security all the way up to like a concierge level. Is that still available through the new app? So we actually, so we actually still have all those tiered packages with our vehicle owners. We okay. we offer our vehicle owners different packages and different things with Wi-Fi data and all, you know all that type right. of stuff, right. premium packages. But on the app, no. The app is just one package, and it does include everything. So I don't know kind of what costs, and that's your decision. But you still will dispatch the wrecker, yes. make sure it's yes. a reputable wrecker company that's capable of towing whatever type of vehicle you're driving. Because, you know, to tow a, a, you know, a Honda Accord is different than towing a Chevrolet Corvette. You know, they have to, yeah. you, you know, the correct the correct uh, wrecker has to be dispatched out. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So, you know, well, that's good to know is, you know, that they're going to dispatch the correct wrecker for the service. Yeah, there's going to be a fee involved, but there's going to be a fee involved anyhow. Well, the, the other thing is um, for $15 a month, that's a heck of a value. You know, I think you got so four too. or five ki people in the family, yeah. you know, and you're knocking it down to two, three bucks a head to, to get something like this. So what, so what if my child gets lost? Um, you know, in a neighborhood that they're not familiar with, and can you know get OnStar help me get out of that neighborhood? Yeah, I I'm not sure how you know how well that is now. If he he's yes, they can, and I think they can notify you, so you're on there with him. So if he hits that blue button, says, "Hey, I'm not sure where I am." They may notify you because you can see him also on your phone. Right. And so you can see where he is and so forth. So they, because I know like when there's been some um, uh, uh, accidents actually, like at the inter so forth, they don't, their first thing is not to call everybody else that's on that list. But once that, ha once they're kind of talking with the person, says, well, I'm okay, but the car's not drivable and, you know, the ambulance is on the way to check me out. Could you call so and so, and then we make that call. We connect them uh, with whoever it is on the thing. So yes, I think we would help him go through that. We don't. It's not a like a turn by turn direction thing, but um, but we would help him. Help him get out. And, and and another thing, and I'm not asking for who the provider is, but I know in the past OnStar has always associated with a pretty high level wrecker service. So generally the, the dispatch times are relatively short that, you know, you're not going to, you know, chuck in a truck 
that's four hours away that's got to drive to you because he's he's enrolled in the OnStar program. It's going to be a, a large uh, association of wreckers. So, you know, typically they can get to you in a relatively good time. Do you have any history yet to say what your uh, record dispatch time is? No, that, but that, that's correct. We're really utilizing the same provider that we utilize for our, our new vehicles, okay. uh, Conrad. So we're using the same provider. They have, you're right, they have contracts set up throughout the country. So it does a little bit depend on the geography and the area that you're in. So, um, you know, I would say in most places in today's world, we have great, con- we have great, you know, where we can locate one very closely. But, of course, just we have areas of West Texas, New Mexico, and so forth. Oh, where, yeah. You know, we need to make sure that we have a good relationship or a contract with that, with, a you know, one or two tow services because very reliant upon them. Yeah, because out in Guyman, Oklahoma, it, it could be chucking a truck. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For it sure. told me to. That, <laughs> to me. that does <laughs> happen. That does happen. Yeah. Uh, well, so when do you when do you think that you'll have some really sound data? This is such a new deal. You really don't know just yet how it's going to go. Are you giving it 30, 60, 90 days? Yeah, I, no, I think I think longer. We're, I think we are in in a launch phase for sure right now in July. You know, in OnStar, we've you know we built such a strong um, membership and business. You know, we have 16 million members in our with our OnStar. That's product. very cool. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So we're we're so this this is probably I'm going to just throw out a number. I'm guessing you know maybe we have a hundred thousand Guardian app members right now. I'm sure we're into the millions before we you know this is this is meant to to cover millions of people. So we're probably very early on on this. I would say longer than a, a 30, 60, 90 day to see if we shouldn't be making a few changes here and there. So far the reception's just been really w- w- well received. Really well, we're good. a fan already and haven't even uh, got downloaded the app yet, but. But uh, I promise you that I, this sounds like a brilliant thing. All we need is a little marketing and uh, some advertising yep. on the In Wheel Time Show, and we'll have all of our listeners joining. And every one of them Perfect. send a dollar. <laughs> yeah, send, yeah that's send a dollar. Send dollar. Soupy sales. Soupy sales okay. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a, it's, a great, it's a great idea, and it's nice to see that you're, GM's expanding on Star through a phone app, and that's just new technology for everybody. Bradley, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks, and uh, we'll be checking back with you to see how things are going. For sure. We'll do that, and thank you all. All thanks, right. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Uh, Bradley Nelson, he's the regional OnStar manager up there in the Dallas-Fort Worth area that mm-hmm. covers our region here yep. in uh, Houston, Texas. So that's that's very good. All right. Uh, time now for the racing calendar. Ooh-hoo. Conrad usually has the racing calendar yeah. right at the well, right, right there on his this uh, This weekend, NHRA is at Sonoma. Oh, boy. And uh, uh, um, Erica Enders will be back in play because Pro Stock didn't run in, in – uh, Kind Denver, of a, which kind was of a weird. jacked up mess was that? I don't know. I, I thought that was know. kind of weird. How can you win the Western Swing if you don't race in all three of the events? But anyhow. And then, uh, again, Winter Nationals in Pomona in August 1st. That's don't, weird. Yeah, don't get me going. Uh, NASCAR's at Watkins Glen on the 8th of August. Oh, They're boy. at Indianapolis on the 14th of August. Michigan on the 22nd of August. And then Daytona on the 28th of August. So they've got every weekend they are going to be Daytona in August. Well, they've always done. Used used to be they did the firecracker. Fourth of July. They yeah. did firecracker four hundred. Right. This year they did. Uh, no, firecracker four hundred was in uh, uh, Carolinas, wasn't it? No, 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 no. 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 That was always Daytona. Daytona. Okay. That was yeah. always Daytona on Fourth of July I, weekend. This uh, year they did the Road America thing on on that weekend, and they switched the uh, the Daytona event to the end of August, which is just smoking hot and smoking hot. Oh yeah. And then a Hungarian Grand Prix is August first. And then the Belgian Grand Prix is August 29th. So that's their three-week session of uh, summer off in, um, in F1. IMSA is Road America on the 8th. And then VIR, Virginia International Raceway, on August 22nd. Uh, Indy Cars next weekend is, the, or excuse me, uh, August 8th is the Streets of Nashville. First time they've been there. And then on the 14th, they're going to do the road course at Indianapolis. And that's in association with the NASCAR guys. And then on the 21st, they're going to be in St. Louis at Gateway Motorsports Park. Did you mention Formula One? Uh, yeah, I did mention Formula okay. One. And then uh, you August. You weren't paying attention. But I'm done with Formula One. Oh, okay. you just take <laughs> yeah, that, that was, list. Yeah, that was pretty bad. And then uh, August uh, 21st is the 24-hour Le Mans. 
Lamont. Lamont. Lamont Lemons. Not, Lamont. Not, not, not that Richard Tomlin goes to. This is 24 Hours oh. of Lamont. Time now for the Escargo. In Wheel Time Car Show pre-owned Car of the Week Hot review. Hot diggity. It's about And time. I am proud to say that Jeffrey, we need more Jeff Zekin right here. And yeah. the only way we can get the, smart was to do this? Has the yep. 2019 <laughs> smart car. And yeah, by the yeah. way, there is absolutely nothing smart about the smart car. Well, but I tell you. Jeff Zekin is going to give us all the lowdown. Here we go. <laughs> Here's my thing. See, see we need more, Jeff. Go. No, Just do the car review. Right. So this is a 2019 Smart 4-2. It's offered in two configurations, the coupe or coupe. Is that like a half a 4-4-2? No, it's a 4-2. That's what they call it. A coupe and a convertible. With a handful of trims between them, the coupe is available in pure passion and prime, which are all adjectives for Conrad, uh, in the trim levels. The convertible version is available in passion and trim levels also. Okay, do that. Adjust it. There you go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, the base <laughs> pure coupe uh, are equipped with uh, both cloth, or well, with cloth upholstery. They have 15-inch steel wheel covers. Power features include... Automatic climate control, 3.5-inch display for infotainment with Bluetooth I want, connectivity. I want to go back to the 15-inch steel wheel covers. Yeah, that, steel let's, wheel let's, covers. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk about those. Back I, that I picture, left my right? car back in the 80s. There you go. <laughs> Uh, the base coupes don't offer many optional extras, but there you go. You've got no. your little wheel covers. There, 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 there you go. Yeah. You can see them there. The top-of-the-line Prime versions add heated and uh, height-adjustable seats. Why? The 15-inch alloy wheels. A sunroof, brand new. Right now, you can get one if you find them. They're around eleven, nine to eleven thousand. They'll pay me nine thousand dollars to take. <laughs> well, one? I don't know if you got to use one. You might get forty for it now. You know what I think we take should do is we it. should we should go and we could probably snap up all of them for next to nothing because nobody them. wants them. Both of them. The and we could start a new racing league out at Houston Motorsports Park with Gina Shile Knowles and race smart cars. No, because the, the whole show is generally over by 9 o'clock. I don't think 14 <laughs> smart cars could go 10 laps in four hours. <laughs> so make it a 10-lap race. Mercedes-Benz used to put these on their lots, and instead of golf carts, they would take the doors off them and use those to take customers to the vehicle out in the, on the, the floor plan, out in the, on the... Uh, Drive, you know. So they used to use them as golf carts. I never had one on the press fleet, but I, I did drive one at one of the Texas Auto Rider events. First time I drove one, top speed on it at the time was sixty miles an hour. Well, there you go. It, it is one on the highway. I, I I really never dissed any car that bad, but I tell you what, that one is not. Why did they build that car? It's a I European really, car that they brought well, to the United States pretty much. that made absolutely no sense here whatsoever. There's, there's more Europe and Japan do the micro cars. There's more to the well, article that I did not read, but Austin has the most in the state of Texas. That's a perfect place yep. for them. Keeping Austin it does. weird. Yep. And I really thought that whenever they went there that it wasn't a bad idea because you could put two of them in a parking space. Yeah. Hey, uh, I want to tell exactly. everybody that the In Wheel Time Car Show streams on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts are available on your favorite podcast channel. The In Wheel Time Car Show continues right after this quick break. Winning the highest sales satisfaction award among all luxury brands from J.D. Power in 2020 tells you everything you need to know about your Lincoln purchase from Bayway. Bayway Lincoln is where a premium buying experience is a priority, and you're invited to feel it yourself. This Houstonian-owned premier dealership is managed by Lincoln Stahl, a seasoned member of the Bayway family. If it's online, in person, or in your own driveway, Bayway gets you to the luxury level you deserve. Bayway Lincoln is on the Gulf Freeway at Fuquay, just inside Beltway 8. Visit baywaylincoln.com today. Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in returns Saturday, August 21st at two Loopy Tortilla Mexican restaurants in Katy and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and everyone is invited. You'll see collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods at two locations. Cars from all over Southeast Texas cruise in and show off in a friends and family event at the Loopy Tortilla Mexican Restaurant on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard just south of I-10 and Katy, and inside the loop on the Southwest Freeway near Kirby. Drag racer, car enthusiast, and Loopy founder Stan Holt brings you Houston's hottest cruise in. Tailpipe Coast at Loopy's Inside the Loop on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby and in Katy on the Grand Parkway just south of I-10 where you'll see the In Real Time Car Show. Get your ride ready and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise in at Loopy's in Katy and Kirby. August 21st, 8 to 11 a.m., weather permitting. 
You see all the new ceramic car wash cleaners on TV now, but John Gray at Gulf Coast Auto Shield has been using ceramic coatings on Houston's most expensive cars for years, and he'll tell you that nothing beats the real thing. Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs a coating over your paint that actually comes with a warranty. If you just picked up your Lambo, your Aston Martin, Porsche, Ferrari, any other exotic car, chances are your car will have company that have already found Gulf Coast Auto Shield. Now, you don't have to own an exotic. Maybe you got a truck, an SUV, or even an older vehicle that needs a little love. Well, let John Gray give it a look and give you an estimate on refurbishing that paint and making your vehicle look new again. How about getting a gift certificate for the wife's birthday or anniversary from Gulf Coast Auto Shield and tell her, honey, I know you love your car, so why don't we get it looking? new again. It'll be the best gift ever, one that she'll never forget. Get hold of John Gray at gcautoshield.com or give him a call 832-264-0670. Gulf Coast Auto Shield. 